Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. I'm here playing two different horror games. Both of them are holiday themed. Both part of the 2022 Madvent calendar, which is a compilation of a bunch of different holiday themed horror games from a bunch of different developers. There's like 30 of them in total. And this is the first couple of them I've decided to play. So the first game we'll be playing is called Nailhead. This is a horror game from the creator of Slide in the Woods. And it's about us finding something evil in the cellar that may or may not be a nail head. So this game, I've played a few other games from this developer. One of which you may know as Slide in the Woods, and then they also released a recent one with a gas station. So this is their holiday one. Open it. There's just a lot of nails. Ah! This is how we became Nailhead. It has literally a... No, we make people Nailheads. I need to destroy the box. No, we just defeated... It's a, it's a cold start. We just defeated the Nailhead. And we have to destroy the box. Because, well, that's how we're gonna... Friend Jack. He took all of us. I had to stop him. Hell of a cold start. Lock gas stage. I need to remove it before I can destroy it. I'd rather not pull them out. I need him to stay dead. I'm assuming it also made him... The, the entity itself is probably that box, but I'm assuming it lures someone in to become its host. It's covered in nails. Seems like there's a small dead animal inside. Strange meat. It stinks. Bedroom's locked. Door jam. I can't pull it open. Blocked by snow. Where else can we go? The snow won't let me leave. I need to finish this. The mallet you attacked me with it has my blood on it. Can you take them out? That'd be nice. Rather than, like, keeping the weapon in his hand. I either put the box inside. Here's a hammer. Can you... Yeah, you can pull these. This is actually the second time I think this developer has made a uh, holiday themed horror game. Oh my god. Water here. I can't grab the water, it's scolding hot. But the, the start is so cold, I'm, I'm half expecting there to be a twist. The valve seems to be missing. Flush. Pick up small valve. You okay? Your flesh is burned off. And some stuff really went down here. Yep. Who's this? His head was split open while he was sleeping. Little fishy. But one door was jammed. Got a key. Gloves. Hmm.
Stand on my statement, it's a little fishy. Oh, let me go from the other side. There we go. Lighter. Gas can. You're gonna burn, alright. Okay, we got the head box off. Put this in here. Gas can. Lighter. You're gonna burn, all right. You're gonna... You're gonna burn, all right. You're gonna... Uh-oh. Oh! Nailhead. Well, I guess our head was nailed. The next game we'll be playing is called Do They Know? And this one's kind of a surreal retro-style horror game. Where we go out into the woods to pick up some firewood, but end up discovering something a little odd. Hello, Hollis. Hmm. Yes, Papa? Oh, good, you're awake. We have a busy day ahead of us. The Mondag feasts upon us, and we'll need your help around the village. Okay, Papa, I'll get ready. Make sure to dress warm. It's cold out here today. This is a friendly cute game, actually. Wow. Pick up your thick boots. Thick boots. These help you wade through deep snow thanks to how heavy they are. Controls are interesting. A R X. Long gloves help you find things buried in thick snow while keeping my arms warm. See resets at. Large enough to cover my whole body. Very comfy around the head. Large coat. Alright, let's go. There you are. You ready to go? Yes, Papa. I've been waiting for the festival all year. Well, it shouldn't be much longer now. Before we get things started, I'll need you to attend to some of the preparations. Here, take stock of everything in this bag of goodies. Huh. <laughs> it's heavy. Whoa there, careful now, right? I need to put the candles in the lanterns, take the glider to the young Fabio, get the cup to the sh chef Bitaka so you can taste this, test this soup, and make sure that you deliver each of these gift boxes to all the villagers here before tonight's feast. You see that coat is warm enough? Sometimes the text is a little hard for me to read. Yes, Papa, I'm fine. Alright, alright. Remember, once you've emptied that bag, come and find me in front of the banquet hall. I'll let you know if anything else needs doing. Off you go now. Five gifts. These should be delivered to villagers who are standing outside their homes. Six candles. Just should go inside one of the empty unlit lanterns in the village. Plane kit. The younger kids will throw these... So the heat from the fire pit makes them fly and spread the plant seeds inside. Empty cup. I should fill this up at the soup hut to test it for the chef. Big old hand over here. We are not very pretty people. Yeah, glider! Shoom! In distance. Mama, have you seen my doll? What a nice village. Kind of. Oh, look, there's a menu inventory system. There's a lot of soul put into this! Uh, many thanks. I still don't quite get what type of people we are, though, like... 
We're we're a shape people. We're, we're shapes. We're we're offsprings and descendants of the Tetris blocks. Ego Rufus, I hope this helps. Thank you, little one. You're very welcome. Are you feeling any better? Yes, a bit better. Run along now. Sickness will surely catch. What a curious world. Greetings, young one. Greetings indeed. Hope you're well. Villagers, I'm on a quest to give everyone these items. Who are you? Thank you, my doesn't the sky beam look simply spectacular tonight? Mm hmm, looks even brighter than last year, Harlow. You know, I could have sworn I saw a piece of it fall off earlier while I was tending these stables here. It came down like a shooting star. It wouldn't think I'm full of it, though. Yeah, the stables. Hmm. Smile. Are you, uh... See, I couldn't tell, like, I'm like... Because it's, it's the way this world is, like, I come up on this, like, is that a piece of furniture, or is that a person? I mean, it could be either one. It's true. Like, what are you? I still don't know what you are. Oh, Hollis, you brought your own cup. Will you taste my soup for the Monday feast tonight? Sure am, Castor. Great, it's best served hot and fresh from my serving case here. Just reach inside, have a little sip, and let me know what you think. In the distance. Oh, where are you? Hmm, delicious caster. That's good to hear. I hope everyone else feels the same. Last year's soup didn't go over quite so well. I'm sure they'll love it, Castor. I'll see you at the fire pit later. I'm helping my papa out a lot tonight. Well, now, aren't you busy one? See you later, then. That soup makes me a little concerned. There's something off about it. But then again, we're all just cute shapes. What could be wrong about this place? Oh my, are you sure? I'll have to get a gift for you next time, then. Empty on the lanterns. Yeah, I haven't been doing my, um... Hold up. I gotta... Do this, too. I haven't been meaning to do that. So I think we got the gifts sorted out. It's just we'll just go through and do the lanterns. Wait, no. I don't even know. Here are your gifts. Oh, so kind of you, young one. Hollis, was it? That's right, Mr. Lau. I hope it's not too much trouble, but we actually actually have a gift that needs to be delivered as well to the other group across the way. Oh yes, the family just across from us. Of course I will. Don't worry about Miss Lau. You don't mind my asking, what is it? It's a book full of stories, images passed down from our ancestors. You see, we don't have any festivals left between us, and we were thinking that their children would appreciate holding memories of the past just as we did, even if they aren't their own. It's a lovely gift. I'd be glad to deliver it for you. You have our things, Hollis. Their house is just opposite our own. Do take care now. Storybook. The large family that migrated over. The magic mist. Get that one. I know there's one to the left. Greetings again, Hollis. Indeed, what have you got there, dear? This is a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Lau, just across the street. Mr. and Mrs. Lau. Oh, for us? And your children, too. They want to pass down what they learned about the old world, so you can learn about it too. Hope you like it. A book on the old world? Goodness. Can we even accept such a gift? You're sure they're okay to be parting with something of such importance? 
Certainly, here you go, Miss Dana. Dana? Incredible. You look just like our gliders, only larger. You're right. We'll have to gather the kids and go through all this together after the feast. You have our deepest thanks, dear Hollis. Don't let us keep you. It's no trouble at all, Miss... Mr. Da Mr. Dana. See you at the feast. Okay. We should be done. You're all shapes. And interpretive art. Papa, the deliveries are all done. Are we ready to start? Not yet, Hollis. We still need firewood for the fire. The Gavras hasn't come back yet. Is everything alright? Actually, he never left. But Hollis was too ill this year. Hollis, I've been doing some thinking. How would you like to be this year's firewood gatherer? Really? Go out into the... Fusov woods? All by myself? All by yourself. You keep growing faster than I can keep track. Do we grow? We're shapes. It's a great responsibility, but I know you can handle it. I would love to, Papa, but what about Head Seer? We've already spoken, and they've given their full support. The old gatherer hasn't been the same since the autumn winds came. A shame it is what it is. But never mind that. There's a fire to be made. Yes, I won't let you down, Papa. Be careful, Hollis. Remember to keep in sight of the brightest star to avoid getting lost. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Papa. Stop stalling. <laughs> All right. The woods aren't going anywhere. Here, best to take the empty bag with you. Let's see you off through the gate to the Fusov woods. Good luck now, and be careful. Yes, Aphra, yes, we can look for your... Dolly Aphra, but we can't be too long about it. Hollis will be back soon with the firewood. Sorry about that, Hollis. You know how the young ones are with their little toys. Oh, my grandfather used to live in the Fusov woods. I wonder if his old cabin is still there. Oh, look at you. The head seer made a right proper choice of this one, didn't they? My ma always loved those Fusov woods. She was all broken up when we had to leave, and it was going against our ancestors' wishes. Well now, Hollis is it? That's right. Cool. Right. Then, as the previous gatherer, let me give you a piece of advice. Keep to the path, wherever it goes. Our ancestors tore up the ground when they used to live out there. Said the soil was sick. It's all <clears throat> loose now, like fresh snow. And you have your steps in the wrong place, and you might slip under. Easy prey. Pray? Pray for what? Couldn't tell exactly. Never got to know for sure if there was anything still out there. Guess that's why they won't usually send you little ones out to do this stuff, right? Oh. <laughs> look at me scaring the new kid. Hey look, it's probably nothing. The Fusov Woods may be intimidating the first few times, but you'll get the hang of it. If you do find anything, though, you come right back here as soon as you can. You ready to do this? I won't let you down, Mahala. There, now, that's the spirit. Hey, take this here hat before you go. You can figure it as a... A little badge of honor. Some artifact from the past or something. I ain't so sure what the folks around here think it means, but they gave it to me when I first started. So suppose it's yours now. Oh, thank you, Mahala. It's quite soft. It'll keep you noggin' warm. Good luck, kid. Best be quick about it now. Looks like there's a storm coming. This is still a very curious game. I thought I heard something. Weird. Small stick. This is- this is, um... This is Smiling Friends. Oh my god. This is the, the Halloween episode. Picking up wood, picking up wood.
Oh no, that means we're gonna get attacked on the way out, aren't we? What's that? Is that from the sky beam? Ooh, we can sell that. That's, um, part of a satellite. Someone said they saw this from the sky beam. I thought it would look more like a rock, but it doesn't feel very lucky. What is... what is that? Like a... it's like a fox scream. They're always screaming like that. I've heard them. Like, like, ah! And then everyone just screams back at them. Oh, it's getting quite scary out here! But I best go deeper into the woods. Because that's smart. Picking up twigs, picking up twigs. Hey, it's another metal piece. Wait, no, that's a tiny doll. Girl said this is what her lost doll looked like. They can't be the same one, right? Hmm, -mm, it's not a big deal. Is that a car? It's like post-apocalyptic, like the world became shapes. It's like adventure time. Go this way. Wait, go right. We're okay, right? Well, not really. I can't just crawl over these bumps. Yeah, I'm not seeing any twigs. I'm just seeing darkness. They should have really given me a better f light. Dead end. What was that? I'm just graphics switching out. This is a cute game, right? I don't know all these games on the Madvin calendar or uh, Grim Dark. Why is the music picking up? I can barely see anything. Ah! What the? My Finks must have fallen out of the bag. Oh no, how am I gonna... Wait, what's up beyond those... Why is it glowing? Here's some sticks. Is very radioactive, that's what it is. It's like post-nuclear war. That's why they, they tore up the land. Because the soil is like... It's bad. Well, theoretically, you'd actually be doing more damage, right? Because the, um, the radioactive soil would settle. 
and then it eventually inevitably be covered, but the... It would kind of get buried, so if you dug too deep, you'd actually dig up some of the stuff that's been settled down. My hat. See which is my hat. Doesn't look very stable. Certainly a, uh... Unique game so far. What is this? Plane. It was too heavy to throw across the fire pit. There's not even any seeds in this thing. Heavy glider. Are we giant? No, we saw the car was normal sized. Then these are drones. If they're, they're, if they're heavy and they're, they're planes, then maybe these are drones instead of interpreting them. They were, um... The drones might have been delivering payloads. That's why they're buried here down with this. See, that's a factory. This place, it feels somehow... What? Those are hard hats. That's why it's yellow bowl. Some words here. No. Has no... This place has no... Name. Must all... Are... These coats look like mine, but thinner. They wouldn't help out all against the cold. Watch. World. Watching. Hey, radioactive, see? Another doll. Over here. Just play the apes. That hand, I wonder who this door was meant for. No, we're really small. Look, this, this is a, a door right here, a human sized door. What's going on? I mean, we were a kid, but still. How have all these lamps been burning for so long? Did my ancestors light them? Was I meant to come down here? What for? The people back home must probably be wondering where I am right now. Maybe it's part of the initiation. They intended it for us to come here? Because there was never adults there. Why send the kid? These things all look like the presents back home. Presents? Did someone leave them here for me? I can never get them all back and open them by myself. 
Uh, presents back home. BC Skull, be not understand. You go in anyway. The drunk in the store reminds me of that doll. Yeah, this whole thing's been journey in itself. Keep going down. Whoa. You know what I said like maybe people are like damn furniture. We just had the box. What does any of this do? I'm scared. I can't reach up. Wait, my arms are stuck. Help! Ooh, that's a weird game. Do they know? So that's it for those two different horror games. Um, I definitely have already played more of this. So you'll see more videos of games on the Madman calendar. So the first game was a, um, it was basically a slasher horror story, although it started in an interesting spot. I felt like a bit of um, Evil Dead, you know, because obviously they discovered something in the basement and they made like one person go, ah, on everybody. And then it had like a, a kind of a stinger at the end, right? So it was interesting to experience a slasher horror story in the aftermath. like. The person's already struggled, they've already fought back and defeated the, the big bad. They just gotta finish them off, and you're just slowly discovering like, oh, here's what happened. So it was an interesting thing to fit into that micro game format, which is what most of these Madman games are. And the second game was actually surprisingly long. And it was... It was inter it was very interesting stylistically. It wasn't... Well, actually, no, the, I'll actually correct myself. The one part in the woods where it started slowly getting darker, atmospherically there was some scary parts of that. But overall, it was more like a curious horror game. Like, this is this is very different from something I've seen, usually. It was post-apocalyptic, you know, I'm assuming humans are gone. Unless we're a human, like maybe one of the last ones. And now people are, like, artistic objects? That's why I said, like, it made me think of, like, some cartoons, right? But I just don't quite get what was the point of the finale. Were we not supposed to go there, or, or did they purposely send us there to go there? Like, why was the one thing down in the very bottom so perfectly there, and then there was one of the dolls inside? So maybe they did send us out there knowing we'd eventually end up here, I don't know. There's like different ways you can kind of take the lore of it. But it was, at the end of the day, it was kind of an interesting experience. I, I did like it. Even down to like, the, the, the purposely obtuse controls are slightly different. It was interesting. Anyway, that's it for those two different horror games. Once again, stay tuned for more of this Madvin calendar. Aside from that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.